Hello everyone, I'm Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm, thrilled to welcome you, the next generation of energy entrepreneurs, to this first ever Lab Embedded Entrepreneurship Program Summit. I know we had all hoped to be together in person for this summit, but safety is a top priority for us at the Department of Energy. And over the last two years, we've come up with some of our best ideas while we've been at home in our pajamas. So first off, I'd like to say hello to our phenomenal lab staff who are participating in today's summit. And of course, to all the scientists and entrepreneurs who are ready to be inspired and to get to work on the next breakthrough. We're here today because we know that scientific discovery and entrepreneurship actually go hand in hand. Since 2015, this entrepreneurship program has brought those two together. The Lab Embedded Entrepreneurship Program gives bold entrepreneurs a two-year runway at a critical early stage for, for their ideas to take flight. And through the program, we've actually connected dozens of innovators to some of DOE's best and brightest at, at Argonne, at Lawrence Berkeley, and at Oak Ridge National Labs. And today, I'm really thrilled to share that the National Renewable Energy Lab in Golden, Colorado has just joined the team, making it the fourth national lab location where entrepreneurs can go to turn their big idea into the next big thing. These entrepreneurs, they get training, they get technical resources, they get mentorship, as they develop next generation technologies that, is, that are gonna pave the way to a better future. And in turn, we get to grow the ranks of clean energy change agents who are transforming the country. Over the past seven years, this fellowship program has served as an incubator for about 120 startup founders. And that includes Grayson Zoloff, who was in the 2020 cohort at Lawrence Berkeley's Cyclotron Road, and Megan O'Connor, who worked with folks at Oak Ridge's Innovation Crossroads. So Grayson went on to co-found a company focused on wireless charging for medical devices implanted in the human body. And that raised more than $9 million in a seed round this past February. And Megan started with Nth Cycle, which is based on a recycling technology that extracts critical metals from batteries and waste and other materials that we can reuse to make new clean energy projects. So Nth Cycle got nearly a million dollars from the National Science Foundation to continue her partnership with Oak Ridge. And that partnership, of course, is on electrochemical recycling technology for recovery of critical battery cathode materials. So, to date, Grayson and Megan and their fellow program entrepreneurs have collectively attracted $918 million in follow-on funding for their startups. They've created a thousand jobs and at least 14 of these companies have started building production facilities and started shipping products across the country. So exciting. Those results show us the incredible power that government and the private sector can wield when they come together to scale new technologies. And that's a big reason why I'm so bullish about the future of this program. I think we can innovate our way to solutions, both large and small, solutions that will turn the tide against climate change, that will make clean energy more affordable and more accessible, solutions that will make our energy system more resilient and uh, honestly make our country more secure and our economy stronger and more equitable than ever. And that's why I want to see this program grow. So if you're an entrepreneur with a great idea for a groundbreaking product, apply to join the next cohort. And if you're an investor looking to put your capital behind new opportunities, take a good look at these program fellows. And if you're looking for a job in clean energy, check out the businesses coming out of this program. If you're representing a university, if you're representing a business, talk to us about how you can replicate the entrepreneurship program model. And to all of you, thank you so, so much once again for taking part today. Enjoy the summit.